Hey buddies, what's up? Welcome back to another amazing episode of Trend Dealer. So guys, in this amazing episode, we are going to discuss the truth about Oprah Winfrey's pregnancy at 14. Are you guys excited? So let's get started. So keep up with me till the end, comment right below this video, subscribe if you still haven't, and turn on the post notifications for more videos. Despite fans' attempts to cancel Oprah Winfrey over damaging interviews, she'll always be the go-to of public figures who want to set the record straight about their scandals and personal challenges. Challenges. Britney Spears even hinted at doing an interview with Winfrey to talk about her family who should be in jail. More celebrities like Adele have also come to Winfrey's show after that bombshell interview with Meghan Merkel and Prince Harry. But the host herself isn't a stranger to such tragedies revealed in her program. At the age of 14, Winfrey gave birth to a baby and never felt like it was hers. The self-made billionaire described it as the most dramatic time in her early life. Number 1. Why did Oprah Winfrey hide her teenage pregnancy. Winfrey hid her pregnancy for seven months until she had a premature birth. I was so ashamed. I hid the pregnancy until my swollen ankles and belly gave me away, she said in her program Life Class. Her detachment also led her to keep the baby. I saved the baby because I was so disassociated and still do feel such a disassociation. I never felt like it was my baby, she confessed. That shame and detachment also led to darker experiences in her life. Hiding that secret and carrying that shame blocked me in so many ways that I remember being taken to a detention home when my mother was going to put me out of the house at age 14, she recalled. The experience was the most emotional, confusing, traumatic of my young life. The pregnancy was also a result of being abused by her relatives as early as the age of nine. At one point, Winfrey blamed herself for it. I'm now for the rest of my life going to be called a bad girl because I'm going to be put in this place, she said of going to the detention home. I don't even know how this happened to me, that I'm in a place for bad girls because I didn't feel like I was a bad girl. Luckily, she and her mother Vernita Lee were told that there was no space for her there anymore. Number 2. Oprah Winfrey's teenage pregnancy became her saving grace. After avoiding the detention home, Winfrey went to live with her father Vernon Winfrey. From there on, the Cecil B. DeMille awardee began to feel like she got a second chance in life. From that moment forward, I felt like I had been somehow saved, that somebody up there recognized that I wasn't a bad girl, she remembered. And here I was, given another chance and after I gave birth at 14 years old to a child who I never even knew how this even happened to me at the time. Winfrey had a tough time dealing with the death of her premature baby. However, her father told her that she should look forward to the future. When that child died, my father said to me, this is your second chance. This is your opportunity to seize the moment and make something of your life, she said. I took that chance and understood for myself that now I know better so I can do better. Number three. How was Oprah Winfrey's teenage pregnancy later leaked to the press? As Winfrey became a famous talk show host, the secret started to haunt her again. Eventually, the whole world found out about it. A publication had paid her half-sister, Patricia Lloyd, whom she described as a drug-dependent, deeply disturbed individual, to spill the story. Winfrey was afraid that it would ruin her career. I carried the secret into my future, always afraid that if anyone discovered what had happened, they too would expel me from their lives, she said. Said. The Path Made Clear author recalled it being a depressing time for her. I took to my bed and cried for three days. I felt devastated, wounded, betrayed. How could this person do this to me? She said of the ordeal. I remember boyfriend Stedman Graham coming into the bedroom that Sunday afternoon. The room darkened from closed curtains standing before me, looking like he too had shed tears. He handed me the tabloid and said, I'm so sorry, you don't deserve this. So guys, this was all about today's video. Share as much as you can that really motivates us to create more content for you guys. With this, we end our video. Hope you liked the video.